Welcome back. We're here with part two with Isis Theodora of her uh, reality show pre-interview, What Love Is. So talk about kind of uh, maybe some of your past experiences and uh, what you're looking for, what you're not looking for, how maybe uh, you could compliment somebody, how they can compliment you. Wait, one question at a time, please. <laughs> My blind roots showing. Uh, <laughs> okay. My expectations. Um, I expect in a relationship for someone to be first and foremost faithful. Um, if they tend to want to stray um, and have some type of open relationship without a commitment, just let that be known, you know, um, it's a lot of games being played, mind games, and some of it is for um, sport. <laughs> Some of it is for material gain. Um, I wonder how much of it is for love, for true love. You know, I remember when I was a younger girl. <laughs> someone told me when you first get married, you marry for love. The second time you get married, you marry for money. And I forgot what the third time was, but I only expected to get married once. Um, and I felt that I gave everything that was expected of me to give but then um, I didn't get that back um, I think it's a two-way street um, it takes two you know to communicate uh, when we got married I remember the pastor saying um, the I guess the steps of marriage and the things that you would constantly go through over and over and over again is finances communication sex and uh, oh did I mention sex <laughs> and uh, did I mention um, sex <laughs> it just seems like you know that is what uh, I wanted to get married for to not be able to have to go from this person to that person to want to just be with one person so I expect to be with one person now should I think about what the other person would think of, you know, what their expectations for me is. And I just want to be ready, you know, prepare myself. I don't want to just give myself to anybody. I think I've done that and my method has not worked. So I am here seeking help, <laughs> um, advice more so, more so advice before I take the next step. And, uh, you know, look for love in all the wrong places. I want to know the right places to look for love. Um, I can't afford to go pay to sleep on someone's couch and um, for them to advise me and help me through, you know, some of my struggles. Or could I? No. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, these are things that I'm struggling with and everything that I expect, I expect someone to, I wouldn't expect someone to, you know, expect something from someone and not be willing to give the same back. So that's my expectation in a relationship and I don't I'm not asking for um, you know material stuff I've had that walked away from it you know um, it wasn't like the top of the line to the you know what some call million status millionaire status but thousands was good you know <laughs> um, but unfortunately um, through my um, divorce and through my hardship, I felt it was easier to walk away than to stand there and fight, you know? Just, just to throw a little something funny in the game. I had a lawyer when I got divorced, and my ex, he represented himself, and he won. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, you know, um, these are things that, that have been life lessons for me. And uh, like I said, I wouldn't expect from someone you know, expect something from someone and not be willing to give that same thing back. So, you know, the sky's the limit. Just be open, be honest, and be real. Everyone says, keep it 100. I have another friend saying, no, fuck a 100. <laughs> Oops, did I say that? <laughs> Forget a 100. How about a million? Okay, percent. And I like that. Let's do the million thing. So, um, oh, our neighbors are having a birthday party. Yay! 
So you say it's your birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Richard or someone over there. I don't know whose birthday it is, but happy birthday to you. Um, so that's pretty much it. Jeff, R. Okay. Um, there are some things that I wanted to mention. You know, some of the places that I have looked for love is um, money, you know, uh, material gain, even family. You know, there are some things that you have expected from your family or that people expect from their family um, when it comes to a family structure, when it comes to, um, you know, building a unity. Should I get that? We'll get that later. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, family unity, and it's something that you feel will be there in times when you need moral support, you know. And, you know, sometimes we have reality check, eye opening situations, you mm. know, that are kind of tender hearted situations as well. But those are things we struggle through. So I am here to just share my reality with um, the world you know I, I wonder how many people would do this um, I'm sure there's a lot but they're not me so this is my reality and this is for um, a healing purpose it is for a growing purpose you know to um, also reach and focus on um, my objectives and what one of my objectives, my number one at the top of the list, you know, after if you look at my page, you will see that I love singing, songwriting, and if I could just, you know, I'm not the best singer in the world. I used to give somebody a run for their money. I've been doing it a long time, but now I'm learning how to develop the talent that I have within me, which is my writing ability. And I never knew. Um, you know, like my upbringing, the influence that it had on me. Um, like, for instance, my dad was in the Air Force, and we traveled. And, you know, I first experienced um, music more so, I guess, uh, in Europe, in France, and Germany. You know, we traveled those places. I started kindergarten in Germany. And, um, you know, it was interesting. My, the Beatles, I loved, you know, the, the Beatles, the Wrinkle Star. <laughs> the one when my dad used to give us little toys with the bobbing, bobbing heads, and that was my favorite, Ringo Starr. And, um, you know, there were other influences, like the sound of music, Judy Garland, mm -hmm. you know, not Judy Garland, Andrews, Judy Andrews. Um, you know, and Judy Garland, you know, uh, Over the Rainbow, <laughs> The Wizard of Oz, you know, Little Shirley Temple, you know, so all of those um, movie stars and Musicians, and then we came back to the state, and then of course Motown, you know, um, Michael Jackson, you know, the Jackson Five, R.I.P. Mike, kiss, 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 and a hug. I can't do that kind of hug. Okay, <laughs> and a hug. <laughs> oh, little Isis, we miss you, Mike. And but you have definitely, you know, he's he's left his mark in our hearts and our minds, and. There's not one greater. I don't care. You know, you can. I think I heard someone say simulated, imitated, but never duplicated, and that is definitely him. You know, um, he is going to be missed, and so will a lot of other influence. Um, there, as a childhood, uh, Harpo Marx was my favorite out of the Marx Brothers, where uh, he would play the harp or toot the little thing. You know, things that had got my attention as a child, so my objective is to at least, since I don't have children, never have had children, my um, objective would be to leave a song <laughs> of some sort. If I don't sing it, maybe someone will sing it for me. It would be nice to hear it on the radio or, you know, see it in my catalog of tree and ask Cap or um, BMI, you know, so um, that's pretty much. <laughs>